Hello students. Today we are going to revise the chapter 2. Yesterday we have already completed revising chapter 1. Uh, that is the barber and the woodcutter. We have already completed and I hope you have learned the question answers and the given exercises. And today we are uh, going to revise chapter 2. What is chapter 2? The mother who loved the poor. The mother who loved the poor. Who is the mother who loved the poor? Do you know who is the mother who loved the poor? Sister Teresa. You know it, no? Yes. And the story begins. Today I will just in a short, I will explain. I will tell you the uh, story to you. Details I have already explained in other videos. So now I will just uh, in a, uh, a summary I will give you what it is. Okay. So just to uh, listen what the story is. The story begins with a, a woman called Sabina. You see when you read her. The story begins with a woman called Sabina. Who was old and a poor widow. Who was old and a poor widow. So she had no husband and she was very poor and a very old widow and suffering from a great diseases, a serious diseases called, uh, which, which diseases she was suffering from? She was suffering from a serious disease that is called uh, leprosy. What is the, uh, what is the uh, me uh, meaning of what is leprosy? Do you know what is leprosy? Yes, an infection, a disease causing painful white patches to appear on the skin and uh, uh, destroying the nerves. That is a uh, disease is called uh, the leprosy. So she was, the Sabina was suffering from leprosy. So no people would go to her and she was all alone and she was waiting for her death. She had not even uh, enough food to eat. Nobody was uh, uh, going to her to see or care for her. She was waiting for her death to come. And uh, uh, at the time when she was uh, just lying on the bed, she heard a footstep. Who was, the, who was that person coming near to her? It was none other than Mother Teresa wearing a white sari and uh, with a blue border. She came to her and uh, she took her to her, uh, her own mission. That is the first paragraph we have studied. Okay, now we will go to the details of uh, Mother Teresa, who she was where she was born and who are their parents and how what work she was doing on this earth. She was, uh, you, you might have heard very much about uh, uh, the character of Mother Teresa. She is a very well known sister. Okay. So Mother Teresa was born on which year? Mother Teresa was born on 27th August 1910. Okay. 1910 she was born. She was called her pet name. What was her name? She was called Agnes. She was the youngest of her, her family. She was the youngest of her family. And her father died when she was nine years old. She was very young. Her father was died. And who was looking after her? Her mother was looking after her. So uh, she was uh, the mother was looking after her. The mother was doing what work the mother was doing? The mother was doing stitching. You know stitching you know. The mother was stitching doing the embroidery work for the um, to look after the family. Okay. Though she was um, a, a look, working for the family. She was also her mother. The uh, Agnes mother also was a very prayerful and a religious person. Very prayerful and a very religious, prayerful person she was. Agnes mother was not only really prayerful, but also she was a charitable. What is the charitable? Giving things to the poor and needy, no? We help the poor people and the needy people we doing the charitable work. She was also doing that. So by seeing all this, she also has a, uh, learned a lot of from her mother. She also helping, felt to help others, the poor and the needy. Okay, and the next step, uh, uh, read that in 1928, she decided to spend her whole life for the doing God's work. She wanted to do something for God's and his own people. Okay, so she joined a group of religious 
religious sisters called the Loreto sisters. So she joined the Loreto sisters, and there she took the name of Teresa. So uh, the before uh, what was the name? Before she was called Agnes, and she after becoming a sister, she changed her name. She called a uh, Teresa. Okay, when she was uh, came to India. Uh, in Kolkata, she worked as a uh, what what work she was taking in the beginning. She worked as a nurse, and then she came uh, to Kolkata in India. Uh, she worked there as a headmistress. Okay, while doing this uh, um, teaching in the school, she didn't feel happy there where the poor people, and she also. Felt the call to serve the poor and the needy, so she used to visit the slums where the poor people live. No, the poor people live near the roadside slums are there where the poor poor people live. So where she used to go and visit after the schooling, she used to go and visit the slum the slums with the other sisters. Okay. So she saw the pain and the miserable condition of the people there. She was moved by it, by the. So she thought uh, she used to visit the poor people in the slums. Mother Teresa heard the God's voice to live with the poor people. There and then she decided to leave the uh, the schooling and the teaching and to work for the poor people, uh, working for the poor and the needy. Okay, she started to live with the poor. She wanted to live with the poor, so she started wearing a white, cheap, very uh, cheap sari with the white, the blue border. You have seen, no, with the white sari with the blue border. She started to wear, and a one Bengali girl. The beginning by seeing this uh, her work, a one Bengali girl also joined her uh, to uh, serve the poor. And we see at the um, what happens then here. We see at the end in the in the chapter, uh, we see, she started wearing a um, white with a blue border sari, and this inspired many people by inspired by her love of the poor uh, and uh, uh, so many people were were in, inspired by her love. The way she was doing and working for the poor, though she was at the end we see that though she was in uh, uh, born in Yugoslavia, she adopted India as her country. She got many awards. She was uh, received uh, many national and uh, international awards for her great work. On fifth September nineteen ninety nine, Mother Teresa died of heart attack. It was a great loss for the whole world. It was a great loss for the whole world. So, but still, the Mother Teresa is remembered for her loving kindness and uh, and charity. Okay, so we also remember her by uh, remembering and looking at the uh, work she has done to the poor and needy. I hope uh, you have understood the story of uh, the life of Mother Teresa, how she lived. And what what work she was doing? Okay, so the moral of the story. What the moral of the story? The moral of the story is to feel for the poor and the oppressed. That is the moral of the story. No, you have to be. We have to be loving and caring for your own people. Your own people means the uh, your own dear and dear ones, the people who are outside who are living in a um, very miserable condition. You should feel for. And do something for them. That's the story. Once again, I have explained to you. Okay, and also I have uh, written the word meanings here in your textbook. Also, is here arms. Okay, uh, donation of money or food, clad, dress, Christine, give a name, misery, great suffering or discomfort, habit. Long garment worn by a nun, arms, donation of money or food to the poor. These are the word meanings. I hope you have already written this in your fair copy and have learned. And next comes the filling the blanks. And 
and uh, question answers only I have given the previous videos if I have written it in your copy you will be learning all that thoroughly from the copy so all the exercises which is given here okay you will be going through the uh, chapter once again and reading out and learning the word meanings especially the question answers and the given filling the blanks you will be learning it so thank you children that's the homework for you